you know what? I'm about to say back what I said. I'm not gonna keep catching these L's for my birthday. Please, like, why are you outside my window when I'm naked? <laughs> confident like on the your abdomen picking your spangle and I'm out here looking like a sweaty beast I'm 32 now I'm 32 I'm 32 how are you I'm 32 I'm almost 40 Gems, it's again Miss Jamima, and we are back at it again with another vlog. So we are officially in Panama, baby, and this is my birthday weekend. So I'm excited. It is a solo trip, and I'm hoping that I have an amazing time. Like y'all, I'm really in Panama. Oh, this is cute. I don't see this right here. Oh, that is such a cute spot to take pictures. Hold on down there oh gagging already did the big butt check <laughs> listen i'm not playing with none of these hotels and none of y'all folk okay bringing y'all critters into the hotels but um yeah i'm super excited for this trip it was very much unplanned i didn't have plans to come here i had plans for another trip but that didn't work out and literally like last night i booked this trip <laughs> no not last night two nights ago <laughs> um so yeah here we are and we we will see what i get into baby when i tell you i have no itinerary i have no plans i have no nothing i don't know what's up what's down what's sideways but we're gonna figure it out i'm about to run out to the drugstore now i want to get some water um 
some like snacks and stuff to keep in the room and then i'm gonna head back in and i'm not gonna lie i really want to take a nap but we're gonna push through we're gonna push through um i'm probably gonna sit here and try to figure out um some places i'm gonna visit in the next couple of days and we'll go from there but yeah guys i am in panama okay just soy in panama okay <laughs> all right y'all let's head out <laughs> Yo la vi pasar, me enamoro su mirar Ese día conmigo bailó, yo sabía que quería más Todo su resplandor, lo que muestras es solo amor Es tan fuerte que solo vos te adueñaste del corazón Baby Okay, so I just took a quick trip to the grocery store. It was it's not like a full grocery store, it's like a mini one. Um, I'm staying at the Wal Waldorf Astoria. Um, and it's all right. It smells like wood carpet everywhere. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, I'm kind of hungry. They served us a meal on the flight. And I just, I was eating for nutrition, not for enjoyment. <laughs> I had chicken, potatoes, some potatoes, and um, what's it called? Broccolini. But it all tasted like it was just boiled in water. <laughs> well, salt water, I should say. So it could be worse. It could have been no salt at all. But, anyways. The light source is behind me. But, anyways, I did grab this fruit bowl when I was at the market. I feel bad because they're selling something like cookies or something in the front, like when you first walk in. And I was like, yo no hablo español. <laughs> mm. So I just ate some kiwi. I see papaya, watermelon, blueberries, pineapple. And I think that's it for the fruit bowl. They also had a juice in there. I was hoping to get some fresh juice, but I guess they already had some pre made because as soon as I told her what I wanted, she just handed me this. <laughs> So this is the garden and it has carrots, celery, apple, parsley, kale, and turmeric. I got it mainly because of the kale and turmeric, but hopefully it's good. So this is my little snacky snack. Um, I'm definitely going to ooh, take a nap at some point, but I have work to do, boo, per usual. Um, have a video to edit another video to correct i want to get as much of that done as possible i don't really know what i'm gonna do tonight just yet but it'll probably be something low-key-ish oh i got a taxi to get to the hotel from the airport and the driver was like, for $100, he'll take me around for five hours. It'll take me to see like, like sightseeing and stuff like that. And I'd much rather do that than do like the tours, the legit tours, because I'd be in and out. Like I don't need to spend eight hours at one place, truly. Truly. So I like that. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And it's on my time. I can go when I'm ready to go. Take me where I want to go. So let me look for his card. Because if I can do that tomorrow, that would be wonderful. Because Saturday, I want to spend the whole day this fall. For my birthday, I want to do nothing but relax and rejuvenate. Mm. I eat good. Mm -hmm. There's something about a fish market where literally you can pick out the fish and stuff. Seafood market, sorry. 
Be out your seafood. Like cook it right. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I said you should love with that. That's we can do that tomorrow. Let's go. So let me go ahead and write him on WhatsApp now. His name is Cesar Zambra. <laughs> I love his last name. Hey guys. All my batteries are dead, so they're currently charging now. But it's looking like an evening in because this video is taking for freaking ever. So, in true dream fashion, we are just going to have the face inside. <laughs> and I done told y'all, listen, I am rebranding. It is officially fashion and food. I mean, beauty's still in there and stuff, you know, but um, ain't no effing beauty, so fashion and food it is. Um, let me show you guys. Hold on, let me spread everything out so you guys can see this setup. Um, I ordered two entrees and dessert. And, um, oh, that is not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, interesting. So here we have the salmon bowl, which I'm super excited about because, hello, oh my gosh, this looks so good. And here, I thought it was a chicken dish with, with um, yam, but apparently it's soup. I didn't realize, but it's giving me appetizer, okay? <laughs> and here we have the coconut flan, which I'm super excited about. I'm hoping since it's coconut, it's not dairy, but we'll see. And they also brought me some macaroons. They're sitting over there, but yeah. My first Panamanian meal. Yay. I have no idea what this is. But we're going to find out, child. Okay. This salmon bowl looks magnificent. Oh, my gosh. If they have brown rice, please. I will get this every day. I'm not going to lie. But I solidified the plans with the driver for tomorrow. So he was picking me up at 10. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and chill tonight because I want to wake up early, go to the gym, have breakfast, come back to the room, have time to get cute, and then go out. So doing all that before 10 a.m. We will see. But I'm, I'm trying to be better about maintaining my regular, like, daily habits even when I'm out of town. So that also means not overloading myself when I'm on vacation. We love balance over here. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this soup situation is gonna slap, like, for real. It's giving me bouillon vibes, but just not as Haitian. <laughs> this little piece of rice in the corn. Oh my God, it's cold. All right, let's dig in. That football is really good, by the way. I feel like I should have gotten two. But I didn't drink the, the juice. I'm going to save that for, for tomorrow morning as my pre-workout situation. I knew it. I knew it was going to slap. This is bouillon. It's bouillon. Mm. This is Panamanian San, Sancocho. That's what it says. Mmm. I should have asked for hot sauce. That would have set it off. Mm. This is bouillon, bro. All right. That was good. Perfectly seasoned. Like, perfect. Like, that. Mm. They did that. All right. Next. Oh, I feel like y'all can't even see the food. Eat. So sorry. Okay. Is that better? <laughs> is that better? All right, so we have onions, carrots, corn, guacamole, peppers, cucumbers, and tomatoes. And there's a bit of rice underneath and then a the salmon on top. I'm going to taste the salmon. Okay, already it's, it's overcooked.
the top part is drier for sure but the inside is not as bad but you yeah, have overcooked so i feel like this, this has to be for it because like there's no other sauce i don't know what this is but it's not even soy sauce let me see i was like a, mm. i'm actually not sure what that is but i'm not gonna have it so this guacamole gotta be enough moisture for this bowl I just don't like that if it's not warm. Like Loki, maybe it was sitting out for a little bit. That's what I'm getting. Mm. I'm still gonna crush it though. This is in pineapple. Now, this smells so freaking good. I usually like to get lip oils with like a red tint or something because I like how it makes my lips look. But I was like, I have enough red tints. I have enough pink tints. Let me just get this. Okay, so I'm about to try the flan, flan, in true influencer fashion. Like, you know what it is. I got to take a pic. What is life, bro? The moment of truth. It tastes a little different. Hold on. I don't know, like, if they have a different recipe for it. It tastes like I'm I'm having bites of sweet cheese, like literally, a mouthful of cheese and it's sweet. Maybe I'm tripping. Let me try it again. Just taking a big old bite of regular American sliced cheese in a sweet. Interesting. The strawberry is good. Oh, this is hard. Let me take a bite to see what it is. <laughs> oh. It's like a, not a wafer, but, oh, that is sweet. That is nothing but sugar. Oh, my God. When I was checking in, they served me a drink that they described as, he said, it's made with cane sugar with a little bit of lemon. I was like, huh? <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, so lemonade. But no, it's primarily sugar with a splash of lemon. But it was really good. So first I was like, we, so lemonade, like, what do you mean? Lemon and sugar, that's lemonade and water. No, baby, it, that's sugar juice, but it was good. <laughs> All right, I got, okay, that's enough. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't know um, if it's the coconut or if they just have a different recipe for fun. Or if it's just here. But, um, yeah, it just it tastes like straight cheese. Like, literally cheese. Like, if you took a, a pack of American cheese, opened it, opened a whole, all of them individually, laid them on top of each other, soaked them in sugar water, and took a bite, that's exactly what that tastes like. Very interesting. Anyway, shout out. Welcome to Panama. <laughs> mm. But tomorrow, tomorrow we experience the real food and the real vibes. This is cute, but this, this is hotel stuff, all right? Tomorrow we outside. All right, y'all. Let me get back to getting this work done so I can get my life together. Working on vacation, boo. Working on my birthday trip, boo. <laughs> Good morning, gems. 
it is the next morning and i'm currently getting ready to head out i decided to book that tour with the, the taxi guy from yesterday so you know hopefully i'll get snatched up or nothing but something bug spray wipes liquid iv my vitamins are in here already like he's literally gonna be here in 20 minutes and i haven't even gone down to breakfast also didn't go to the gym i woke up with my my stomach hurting so that was a no for me okay like if y'all want me to go to the gym let's say that <laughs> we gotta do too much convincing that <laughs> oh okay let me grab this water here that they're about to charge me ten thousand dollars for because i want to take my super big one this is supposed to be my gym water Okay. Oh, also this dress is by Walmart. If it looks familiar, it was in my Walmart haul. I love it, and I also ordered it in two more colors. So, prepare to be sick of me. Ow! All right, let me go. It smells like wet carpet, and I don't like that. So I have to go downstairs, through the lobby, then up another set of elevators to go upstairs to the restaurant for breakfast. But um, the struggle's real. The marine is in the past exists three islands on the marine Nouns, Flamengo, and Perico Island. So when US built the canal in 1903, okay, made this road mm -hmm. to connect the island, mm -hmm. because this is the most important point to shed the ship when coming uh -huh. out and when yeah, it's the best point to ship the, the, the ship when coming to the Pacific, uh -huh. to the canal, mm -hmm. and when coming up to the Atlantic to sailing on, on the Pacific. So, okay. you know. So, but when past the the years, mm -hmm. the government of Panama convert uh, the marine also in the entertainment place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See a lot of people coming yeah. to do exercise, mm. right by. So at the end of the three island, you see a little hotels, restaurant. Okay. And Fifteen years ago, is the the party place. Oh. You find a lot of nightclub, something like that. But fifteen years ago, uh -huh. now is in the old town. Okay. Now is. It's more relaxed play you know, mm -hmm. with your family, your girlfriend. So the chip day like 10 to 12 hours to cross the canal. Oh Ocean wow! Mm -hmm. 10 to 12 hours. The important of the canal is, you know, to cross the ship fast. Mm -hmm. Because if the, if the canal don't exist, the ship need to go to Tierra de Fuego is to Argentina, oh. sailing down and take more than one month, two oh, months, yeah. and uh, <laughs> spend more money. Uh -huh. you know? For example, 
the sheep normally cross the canal in 10 to 12 hours and pay a little fee, mm -hmm. 100,000 to 1 million dollars. Mm -hmm. The fee to cross the A little fee? Yeah, it's a little <laughs> fee. You know, if the canal don't exist, the sheep need to spend 10 times mm -hmm. more than pay from the canal. For example, it's pay, it's pay 1 million, mm -hmm. the sheep pay more than one month and pay and spend more than mm -hmm. 10 million dollars. So mm. It's a good deal mm -hmm. for the big navy, the yeah. big company. Yeah. It's the deal from the government, Panamanian uh, government, and from the big company, you know, to cross the, the merchandise. Mm -hmm. So 30% of the market cross from the canal. Okay. 30%. It's a little bit. So the canal made like two to five billions dollars yearly. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> so let's go to a stop at the end, take some picture, then stop at okay. other place, take other video. You like the videos? You like yes. the videos? <laughs> good. Heidi. Mm -hmm. Heidi, I do. Ah, IT. Mm -hmm. IT. Yes. You're from IT. <laughs> Haiti. Haiti. Uh huh. Ah, IT. I never thought about how to say something. Yeah, IT. Oh. IT, IT, IT. Ah, IT. <laughs> you, you, this is my. Nice. You take a picture over there? Uh, I guess I'll take like a, picture. a picture. I don't like pictures, but I know I should Let probably me take, take a one. Picture. Uh, no? I'll take one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me take I don't like pictures. You don't like pictures? You like video? Yeah. <laughs> let me let put the kind on video and I. <laughs> keep, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, that does work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I know. I never thought about I how you say this. I need to go my Spanish. English. <laughs> okay. It's oh. ready. It's recording now. Yeah, it's That's recording. Right. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna give you my phone too. I'm gonna do a video and a picture. <laughs> you want a picture too? Uh, yeah, it's nice. Doing both jobs? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jay on Panama. <laughs> also, Bocas del Toro. And Colón, these two providence mm -hmm. is the black community, the black, the black people mm -hmm. that come in, that rise in, the, the, when build the canal from Nairi, from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. In Bocas del Toro and Colón, mm -hmm. speak English and I speak Patois. Oh, okay. People. Interesting. Like Jamaica, uh -huh. but, but I don't know, in Nairi, I speak like Patois and Creole. Creole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in this, in Panama you find IT in Jamaican culture. Yeah. Okay, like Jamaican. We build this second city. So uh, it's very similar to Cartagena. Mm -hmm. Colombia. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's very very similar. Okay. So in this time, in the Spanish season, uh, Santa Maria is the name of this place. Mm -hmm. It's important. It's called Santa Maria too. Okay. It's the Central Park. And the weekend made a lot of activity over there. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so um, that actually did not last as long as it was supposed to. <laughs> I had booked them for five hours and an hour and a half into it i had to come back to the hotel because my stomach still was not right and i refused to be outside and not live in my life um so at first she was waiting for me because i was like okay just give me like 30 minutes <laughs> girl i had to tell my man i'm sorry it's 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 looking like a no for me so i've been in the room since i took a nap and it's now five o'clock. That's like a nap or did I go to sleep? Cause that's about how much sleep I got last night, honestly. But yeah, so I'm about to go downstairs. I wanna make reservations for the spa for tomorrow. Um, I've been trying to book um, 
experiences, excursions, things like that. But the biggest issue is that everything is like eight hours. Like I, y'all taking up my whole time. Like, can we just go in and out? Like, I really want to go to the San Blas Islands, but can you just take me to one and then take me back? Babes, I don't want to be gone for nine hours. I, I don't have that much, <laughs> that much time here. Um, and so I feel like because of that, I'm missing out. And plus, so many things are already booked. They're talking about like March. There's a cooking class I really want to take, an Afro Panamanian cooking class. I'm talking about June. Like what? So I don't actually know how much I'll be able to do. Let me see. I do see a bar crawl. I guess I can do that. That's always an option. That's like one of the few things that's actually available during my stay here. It's actually it would be tonight. Um But I'm just like first of all I'm hungry. My stomach is still off. Oh god, I hate being so damn sensitive. Excuse me. But like I've been really trying to find something like and because I'm trying to like fill my days with as much as possible before I leave, I'm just like it's looking like I won't be able to do that. I just have to pick like maybe two activities I wanna do and that'll be it. Um so there's like a monkey island and sloth tour. Um I think I'm gonna do that. I think it's like five hours. I might stop and try and get something to eat. Yeah, actually, I will do that because that's going to determine if I can go out for dinner tonight. And I really want to go out for dinner tonight. There are so many cute restaurant op restaurant options. Like, oh, I, I really, like, I cannot be in my birthday like this. Like, let's be for real. Child, I cannot believe, y'all. I said, es perdón, señor. We need to stop back at the hotel. Didn't go to the, the, the fish market. Honestly, that's really what made my decision to just call it quits and come back to the hotel and stay here because if I can't enjoy the food then why am I outside child like be for real I'm gonna go there and just look like no I'd rather just see if I can squeeze it maybe on Monday or something I don't know child but let me go downstairs Ooh, I'm still yawning like girl please I booked the spa I hung out at the pool a little bit for like 15 minutes and now the restaurant should be open. I think they said it's like a Spanish restaurant. It's called Matisse, I think. Pray for me, y'all, because I'm starving. My stomach is still rumbling. Yeah. And you are the time of my life. I'm out of yeah. You brought the days to my life. I did everything I said, but I did it all my way. Oh wow. This is why I feel like I need at least a week to travel because I like a nice balance of outside visiting things, exploring, but also relaxation. And when it's a shorter trip, you're trying to jam pack so much into that trip that by the time you get home, you need a rest from the trip, you know? This is a stunning view. The air feels amazing. The temperature is amazing. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going out tonight, but I'm going to enjoy this moment. Forever, I can't put it in words. No, no, no. You 
you brought a days to my nights. Something you do to my heart. And that is the end of that. Good morning, gems. Um, today's Saturday. I'm heading to the gym. I think I'm going to see if I will make it. I'm hoping that the worst of it is over. I'm assuming we have traveler's diarrhea. <laughs> um, I just had the green juice that I bought at the store the other day and my multivitamin. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. But I was kind of concerned because I was like, how do you travel with a liquid multivitamin that's refrigerated, especially? Uh, uh. I'll just bring it to you. I'm not sure. Um, so the good thing, so the good thing is that it's only refrigerated after you open it. So I looked on Amazon and they actually sell the one ounce shot situation servings like in many sizes. And so it was like a pack of 12 for like 35 bucks or something. Which is essentially paying the same price for a pack of 12 that you would for a full month's serving. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, the cheap me was like, okay, I'm just gonna save these bottles and use it for next time. But then, no, it has to be fresh because they're not refrigerated. Anyways, yeah, so I have that. I have my green juice and I'm going to try and go to the gym. Um, if that is a fail, I will go ahead and cancel my plans for today. I basically booked the spa. <laughs> today is a day of relaxation. Oh, today's my birthday, by the way. <laughs> if I didn't mention that. Um, yeah, today's my actual birthday. And I just kind of wanted to treat myself, have a key. Um, I originally planned on booking a spa at another hotel because they had like the Turkish baths and all these other like features that I really wanted to um, to use. But with my current situation, <laughs> for one, I don't need to be anywhere far right now. Like I didn't make it through dinner last night. This is probably I'm so sorry, but I mean this is part of it. And I. I don't feel like normal people need to worry. I, in particular, just have a very sensitive stomach. So I'm just always getting sick. Like it's just, it's just it is what it is. Hence, electrolytes. Um, let me grab my fan pack. Actually, I really need to hurry up because I want to grab breakfast, maybe depending on how I'm feeling afterwards. And breakfast is at 9.30. And it's at 10 30 it's 9 30 now so that means this is a real quick workout but shout out to me for actually working out i can't tell you how many times i've brought workout clothes with me on a trip and then didn't work out but i'm trying to be more intentional about maintaining maintaining my life on trips so that it doesn't feel like such a big difference when i get back home again Okay, there we go for real. Um, yeah, so if I make it through the workout, I'll stop and get breakfast. If not, I'm come right back in here and lay the heck down. And that's gonna be how I spend my birthday, cause child, I put a halt on my plans, cause if I can't make it through dinner, I'm talking about here in the hotel, like I had to run there there's been too many close calls <laughs> um like if i can't make it through dinner i'm not taking a chance in leaving this hotel I'm like please because one thing about it i need to be comfortable so plans for the rest of the trip are all on pause unfortunately i definitely had plans to bring in my birthday differently last night um but such is life. And the great thing about it is that I am just so blessed to enjoy my life every day that I'm okay with taking this L, you know? 
um it's very much giving oh my god we celebrate valentine's every day like you know and not to say because i'm very much like i love birthdays and holidays and stuff like that um but even with me taking this l right now i'm still so very grateful for life and where i am and, and the people oh my god the people in my life i'm so grateful like <laughs> oh and that's really like what traveling is for me is immersing myself into the country into the local culture the community like i i'll do like some touristy stuff especially if i'm vlogging um because i know people like to see it but for me it's literally about meeting the people here getting to know the people here engaging with them like that's the whole, that's where i find my joy in traveling <clears throat> that's how i'm like where the locals at like meeting people at the airport and 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 you know spending time with them rather than doing like a bus tour or something what you can do is actually bring your group that makes way more sense but like as somebody who's just trying to get to know the real city the real country i'd rather be with the local you know like where do y'all hang out at i don't really ow of course i would <laughs> like my goal isn't to go out and hang out with more tourists though that's a vibe too would love to do that enjoy doing that but um on him the local state says something on my door all right well, anyways i gotta go to the gym so i probably only have like 40 more minutes before my stomach and you know so i'm gonna go see y'all later wow The one day I planned to enjoy my birthday at the pool is closed for a private event. <sighs> you know what? I'm about to take back what I said. I'm not gonna keep catching these L's for my birthday. I just knew I was gonna be on the pool today. Oh man. Ugh. All right, whatever. Fudge. How do they get to keep the whole pool? And on the weekend at that? You can do this on a weekday? Bro. Ugh. Bruh. <laughs> um. Um. What?
y'all. I'm getting ready to head out. Get this short and sweet so that I can run and get some breakfast. Uh, Mind you, I only have the green juice and usually like that's nowhere near enough to feel and if I can work out. So I feel drained. Um, haven't been able to keep food in my system. So that played a part of it as well. And because my stomach is so sensitive, I'm not ingesting any caffeine. So all in all, it wasn't a great workout, but better than nothing. Um, I'm having an omelet made. They'll bring it when it's done. Camel tea, orange juice, passion fruit, fruit medley, and I couldn't resist y'all. I love hash browns. <laughs> So I'm back from the gym and um, I went to grab breakfast as you guys saw and they gave me the cutest birthday song and dessert situation. It was so cute. Um, I was like, I don't know how they knew it was my birthday. Like upstairs? They must be able to post something about when they um, put in my room number, but they're so sweet. Like one thing I can say about this, this hotel, the staff here literally everybody's amazing like i'm not talking about oh everyone's pleasant no everyone's amazing like they go above and beyond with customer service here oh that's one that i can really put you on this place so on the second hand they just sent me another notice to update the first one the pool is closed until march 1st i'm so bummed out like my big boogie behind, damn. That means I'm, I'm not gonna ever get to enjoy the pool. It could not start tomorrow if I at least have one day, just today. I had a plan, I said, gym, breakfast, everything, shower, rest, spa. All afternoon, spa, wind down the pool. Hit the jacuzzi, come back upstairs, get dressed, dinner, and party, and party, okay? And it's looking like everything today is a fail. Uh, what was I saying earlier? Be grateful, Jimmy, for life. Be grateful. Be grateful for life. Uh, child, anyways, I need to shower, cleanse the body, and, um, I'll see y'all when I'm done crying. <laughs> Bye. Okay. 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 No. 
I literally just got back from a massage, sat down to my arena doorbell. They have doorbells outside of all the rooms. Another birthday treat, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's good. What about now? What's in this movie? A birthday card? That's so nice. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> A handwritten note and everything. That is so nice. Wow. I've never been shown this much love. Mm -mm. Like randomly. How they even know I was here? <laughs> now they tracking me. <laughs> oh my god. The chocolate is my favorite. Mm. When the massage was good, I got the volcano, volcanic mud scrub. And then I got a regular massage, reflexology massage. Mm. I'm kind of hungry now, so I'm trying to figure out where I want to um, eat. I found the cutest restaurant place. I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow for brunch. And um, tonight, I found this other rooftop restaurant called Salvaje Restaurant. And then like, if I could find like a hookah lounge or something after that, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Y'all, oh my God, they might not have any reservations. Okay, this is do. Whew. I was shook. Okay, they have 9 o'clock, 9.15. Let's do 9. Okay, perfect. Um, reservation confirmed for today. Now let's look for a hookah lounge. Hookah bar. Alejandro's. Ooh, that sounds like a vibe. Drinks, hookah, and entertainment. Okay. Okay. I think it was at 3 a.m. That might be the move, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, ah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah. That might be the vibe. So we have tonight figured out. Let's figure out now. Ooh, I really want like a Caribbean spot. Okay, this might be one, let me see. If they have oxtail, I'm getting that. I will go back to no red meat after this meal. It's eight minutes away, El Caribe restaurant. Yes, so let's get dressed. Let's, I'm just gonna throw some on real quickly, quick, 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 and we out. Okay, so I am dressed and ready to go. Um, I was about to switch my bag, but I mean, girl, I'm going out this pretty. It is not that deep. Um, let's try my shoes. Applied more sunscreen, sprayed my bum bum spray. And I think you are good to go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I forgot how loud these shoes were. Pants are from Kato, top is from Shein, bag is Amazon if anybody cares. And I forgot where these sandals are from, but they are loud. They can hear, hear the air coming out of them. So time to go downstairs and figure out how to get to the restaurant. Okay, so I just hopped in the Uber. I spoke to the people at the hotel. Um, they're like, Uber is definitely a great option. And they also gave me the number in case I need a taxi. So I like options, making sure I'm good. I will see y'all when I get there.
the patanos rellenos. Okay. And the um Oxtail? Yeah. Rice and peas? How did I know that? <laughs> Tell me how did I know that? I'll come back for your beverage in a second. Thank you. by a little gift shop store place across the street um why putting this on um i bought a shot glass i like to collect shot glasses from places that i've been so they refresh the bed dang it's my extra sheets uh -uh -uh -uh. see there's a process to one of these can't just take my sheets, man. Ooh, I smell like food. It didn't give what I thought it was gonna give, y'all. Now I'm questioning who left the reviews. The food was cold. Um, I can tell the oxtail wasn't fresh. <sighs> now the food was really fresh. Um, I think they just probably cook a large portion in the morning and um, serve it throughout the day. But food like that is how I get sick. Um, for the average person, it doesn't affect them. But even in the States, just anything that sits out for more than like 30 minutes, an hour, immediately, stomach ache. Immediately, detox, okay? So I just have a very sensitive stomach naturally. So I took a couple bites. My stomach said, rawr, rawr, rawr. I said, ooh, you know, ooh. okay, sis, you got it. But I mean, I made all that hoops when I got there. Like, oh my God, I heard about the oxtail, da, da, da. Which I shouldn't even be having red meat anyway, so that's what I get. But it was cool. I had a couple bites. I took the rest to go. Even though I wasn't going to eat it, but I didn't want to, like, you know, insult them by leaving a whole plate of food on a table. Um, but, yeah. And does the I got the seafood. It's supposed to be plantain with seafood sauce, whatever, on top. It was just calamari there was no other seafood in it but um overall like i said it just wasn't what i expected I, I was definitely expecting to get more but um it is what it is but i feel like today's the first day where i feel like okay now i'm in panama for real like i'm actually in panama so i'm praying that the food doesn't mess up my stomach anymore like bro and as a consequence, I'm still hungry. <laughs> but I'm about to drink mad water, take a quick nap, and then I'll get up later to um, 
get ready to go out. Hopefully the rain stops, but let me go ahead and call the front desk for some extra sheets, honey. Actually, it's okay. They gave me extra pillows, I'll use the pillows. Not pillows, towels. It's not as comfortable, but it'll do. No need to keep many people come out here. Stop being a little princess. Yeah, it's the sheets are just much easier, honestly, but it's whatever. All right, y'all. I'm about to shed, switch out my clothes, take a nap. Later, Gator. Okay, so um, I just wanted to point out that they changed the sheets. And I could tell because I could see like the the folded lines. Usually hotels just kind of like judge up the ones you're already on, but they don't switch out the actual seat sheets. But they switched the sheets. And also I realized I think they did. Oh my god, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm rode on my booty. My skin feels amazing. That damn volcanic mud scrub. Okay, let's just chat a little bit. Oh, my skin feels glorious. Oh my god. What was I trying to say? Oh, so for the for the um the spa, I booked the volcanic ash scrub and wrap. So first she applied the exfoliating scrub. She did it like body part by body part. It really took her time to really like rub it into the body, to the hands. Why she got between the crease and chow. Um, if you're scared of people saying you're naked, yeah, that's not the one for you. Okay, get a regular massage where you can kind of finesse and they won't really, really see you. But for the scrub, especially because the disposable panties were a joke. They were a whole joke. Like, what in the shower cap is going on, bro? But I mean, it was fine. You know, I just walked down new. Hey, girl. <laughs> And she scrubbed me down and you know it was it was good so after she did the scrub she puts this like kind of cooling cream on top of it which is like a nice contrast and then she put the little wrap thingy like the, the saran wrap i don't know what it was you laid and she put like these towels and the bed itself was heated oh my god and then you shower it off um and then i had also put the massage so i got right back on the table chat mm. I'm like, dang, I need to go back on mom's side. I think I need to go back on mom's side. Jima, no, you don't. Because what you need to do is go home and use your uh, massage and the <laughs> massage and the uh, credit. Stop playing. But yeah, I love that though. I, I low key like to let them rack up so I can do like an extensive session like this one. Like, I want a facial, I want a massage. And maybe I'll even get like the the sports stretch. No, I'm actually very scared of that one. I'm very scared because if you stretch me, I'm a fart. Ain't no way you expect me to not poo. Like I'm a poo, and that's embarrassing. Anyway, child. All right. A little bit.
I'll see y'all. Um, I actually wore this dress in Jamaica, but it's like my favorite vacation dress. So I brought it again. Cause we're gonna beat my ass. But y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to take the juiciest shower. The hottest shower. And then jump straight into the bed. I am ready to call it a night. Happy 32nd birthday to me. I feel like it hit me tonight like, I'm 32 now. I'm 32. I'm 32. How are you? I'm 32. Hey. 32. 32. I'm 32. Like, I'm almost 40. Can y'all imagine me at 40? Like, yeah. I'm almost 40. Like, can y'all imagine? Like, by somebody hit 40, my bad bitch that is gonna be off like Scott. Man, Whew. I feel like once I hit 40, can't nobody talk to me. Can't nobody talk to me. I'm almost 40. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, dinner was good. Definitely the, the best meal I've had since I've been here so far. The Brussels sprouts were phenomenal. I don't know what sauce they made it in. Phenomenal, okay? All right, y'all. It was a vibe. Thoroughly enjoyed my night. I ended up not going to that hookah bar place because I was reading their reviews again and then like I could start recent and not just like more helpful. And it's very much giving pay to play, oh, come with your single, come if you want some attention, come if you want, you know, some. And I'm like, oh, not to knock their hustle or nothing, but that's not the type of time I'm on, baby. And how come it's always women? Where is the pay to play for men? I got a couple dollars. It's not that easy. It's free. <laughs> 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 Did I even talk to y'all this morning? I've been getting uh, YouTube and uh, TikTok and stuff, but child, I'm at brunch. Kiki. <laughs> I just had brunch at Kiki and we're currently on the way to like a hookah bar restaurant situation. 
and by we I mean me and myself and I so hopefully it's good it seems like it's a vibe if not I'll just go to Alejandro's I got plans to and I like that it's early evening just in case it is that spicy situation that they said it was I feel like I'll be okay <laughs> what's the Fridays for me six dollars I'm keeping it Okay, so this place is pretty empty, so I feel free to talk. But y'all, I could have sworn I started a vlog this morning, but I was like, no. I started TikTok this morning. Did a whole little get ready with me situation, but um, yeah, my bad, y'all. So I went to, y'all saw like the cutest brunch spot. It was so cute, but yeah, ooh, my drink is here. Hold on. Gracias. Mmm. Delicioso. <laughs> Y'all, I need to stop drinking for real. I mean, I'm not drinking that much, but I did thought I was going to chill on the alcohol. I was getting like lit lit. I'm not getting lit, but it's a cute little vibe. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so I got some diabetes. Oh, it's real sweet. Oh, child of diabetes. Mm. Yeah, some lemon juice. I like my drinks with a little twang. <laughs> I just love lemons in my. Oh, oh, what's going on? Dang. I'm finna start naming y'all Alicia. Keys, hey Keys. Cause y'all stay falling. Like, forget gems. Hey Keys. <laughs> I'm so cute. From William Schuss. Did you see ourselves? Yeah. Oh, that made it so much better. So that egg sandwich didn't hold on for much longer, so. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. So I got some more food. <laughs> I got an open chicken shawarma. Shoot, I think this is dairy. God dang. That's all. Woo! Oh my God. Okay, I bet. Um, plantain, fried plantain, rice, and these are hummus. This is hummus, not sure if this is or this. That's hot sauce. And mess up the plate, chef. Just spice onions. This dairy gonna kick my ass. You got tzatziki sauce? I don't know. Where else can you get? I think it's Lebanese. It's Lebanese. Or with fried plantain. B or real. I'm moving. I'm moving. And y'all can't do nothing about it. Fresh. Oh my god. What? So I am back in the hotel. I'm gonna go take a. Mm. Ooh, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Good. Okay. Okay. First of all, I am stuffed. Ciao. Oh my. Oh, 
stuff anyways i'm gonna go back to the hotel room get my tripod i saw a cute little like wall down the block so i'm gonna go take a picture come back change and then go to another hotel to hit up their pool jacuzzi situation it's a vibe okay the day cannot end right here i need a pool pic y'all know me period um period Ugh, like you know what it is she said it was like two three blocks walking is that extra five uber there that a hotel hilton panama oh that's cute i need to see what time it closes too Child, not the shoulder pad getting stuck in the bag. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Yo, I can't breathe. Whew. Did I eat too much? Or am, is that gas? Like, I don't know what it is. Oh, I need to sit down for a little bit. Oh, this ain't it. I don't know what it is, but I know what it's not. And it's not it. Okay? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Reapplied my gloss. There was a little bit, a little bit of liner left, but not much. It's giving candy yum yum, low key. But it's not terrible. Like if you saw me in the street, would you think like, oh, her lips are ashy? And, okay, so I did a TikTok doing my makeup. And I was struggling because I forgot my primer, my good primer, and um, I also didn't bring foundation. And so your base is essential when it comes to layering products on top of it. And the fact that my two most primary bases are missing in action, the, the foundation I left on purpose, but like doing the cold concealer thing without a really good primer underneath, whew, child. So I basically used my sunscreen as a base, which was risky because... I need my sunscreen to be like my sunscreen, you know? But it is what it is. I forgot to do my hair per usual. It is crispity, okay? I used the hotel shampoo and conditioner, which means using pretty much bar soap on my hair and I didn't moisturize, didn't do anything. And it looks like it. I did bring a dress that was supposed to be like my birthday dress. It was supposed to be on Friday night when I went to like, a cutesy dinner and had a vibe and all that stuff. Of course, that didn't happen. My stomach is better. Yesterday, I, I tried it yesterday. I tried it yesterday with that oxtail. Ciao. Um, Loki tried it again today with the tiramisu and the um the, the coffee. The tiramisu, because I requested a birthday cake. Like, I thought it was going to come with can. I really only got it for the vlog. Because I wanted a cute, like, birthday moment. And that's not what it gave. It gave, oh, here's dessert. Can I get a candle? Can I get a happy birthday to you? Like, I, I want the festivities for the vlog. Because every time something happens, I never catch it on the vlog. Even when they gave me that um, little dessert thingy during breakfast, I blew it out before I could capture the, like, the actual candle. And I feel like that would be really cute for the thumbnail. <sighs> content creator struggles. Like, not even real life, but for the content. Can I relive real life real quick so I can capture it for the content? But um, overall, I've been really enjoying my stay here. <sighs> um, I rebooked with Cesar um, for tomorrow. Cha he said he's picking me up at 8 o'clock in the morning. But I figured I might as well finish out that situation since the monkey tour was a fail. I feel like all the good stuff was just a fail. Which one, cons of booking super last minute, like literally last minute. And two... There was spots available for that one, but because of yesterday's situation, I waited to book to make sure that I can actually attend, and I missed out, but I could have been frolicking with the monkeys, child. I don't know. I might do another search again when I get back. Child, my stomach is so... Oh, somebody just knocked on the door. Was that my door? Hold on. Oh, wasn't me. I thought I was finally gonna capture something for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
the wall that I saw. There's good graffiti. I'm like, oh man, it's super windy though. It feels amazing, but I don't know if my tripod gonna, I don't know if my tripod gonna make it. But we gonna give it a try, child. But yeah. Welcome to Panama. Get it, get it, get it in the Panama. Get it, get it, get it, get Panama. And we got the shot. Well, we got some. <laughs> they were just taking pictures too, over there. Y'all know a good spot when y'all see it. Very on pretty good. Okay, headed back to the hotel. Gonna change, head to the pool, and enjoy the rest of my evening. It is so much easier to vlog on my phone when I have a tripod. I do not. Your fear of looking dumb is holding you back. But also, I don't like attention. It gives tourist vibes. Out the country, anyways. I don't like attention in the States either. I just don't like attention. If I could be invisible and vlog, that would be amazing. So, anyways. Do you want the bag or not? Want to make the gems happy or not? I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I think I'm going back to the spa tomorrow. Like, it just felt too good. <sighs> it's been too long since I had hands rubbing on me. <sighs> you know, I gotta pay for it. This is ghetto. <laughs> ghetto. <sighs> Y'all, like, I, I really like this hotel, but that hallway smell just keeps throwing me off. It smells like pee today. Like, whose dog was having a timeout in the hallway? Oh my God, what is that? Downstairs smells so good. Like, can I get that fragrance sprayed in here so I can live in it? Ugh, Chile. Really quickly before I head out, I almost forgot, y'all. I walked out the door and had to walk back in. But, um, gotta switch out the jewelry because these are the good stuff, okay? And I don't need the pool water I'm messing up what I got going on. So. Mm -hmm. So currently at the pool at Hilton Panama, but their jacuzzi whirlpool situation has broken too. What's going on? There's definitely a lot more kid from me for sure, but at least I'm in a pool, so that's what matters, darling. That's what matters. that my face officially looks crazy now. Like, why not just take a makeup off? I could have been swimming. Living the best life. But no. You want to wash my face? Now look at me. Tell what? From the chin up. I'm talking to myself on the camera while people stare at me. Grandma is staring at me hard over there. Like, sus, you need my business. Don't do that. Oh, stop. And 
a wrap, folks. Back to the hotel. The lips are still popping, though. Lip gloss is still popping. Period. These shorts want to be panties so bad. What? 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 <laughs> like, be for real. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Shut up. I'm currently rushing to get ready to go meet the guy for the tour. I want to run downstairs, grab some fruit and some hard boiled eggs to go for breakfast. So I need to be out of here in like 10 minutes. So, chop. What? Okay, so good morning. Good morning. Happy last full day. Ooh. It's 9.53. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> And I'm not gonna leave my man's waiting for me again. Hold on. He spent more than enough time waiting for me on Friday. So, here we go. I'm lathering on the sunscreen job. He texted me at 6.30 asking if it was possible to change the time to 2 p.m. Okay, so since that's a fail, let me set you guys down. Yo, it's me rushing like a maniac, waking up earlier than I have to. Um, but that's because I don't have my WhatsApp notifications on. I never have them on. I have to literally check it to read my messages because it be too much going on, y'all. It be too much going on. So, um, I'm gonna take this time to go to the gym, go to the sauna, and if I can fit it in, get another massage. Because why not? Um, I was planning on going to another hotel once again for a spa day situation. Um, but, <sighs> change of plans. Change of mother freaking plans. Um, Uber in here is super cheap. I wore this already, no? No, I wear the purple. Where's my black shorts? Um, Ubering around is super affordable, but also keep in mind that I'm not traveling more than 25 minutes outside of my hotel, but I've never paid more than like 13 bucks for an Uber ride. And it's usually like around like, well, I'm, when I say the vicinity, it's like five, eight dollars for Uber Black, and I've only been doing Uber Black, by the way. Um, like the, not luxury cars, but you know, um, that's usually between like five and seven bucks, truly. They got me like, oh, ah, oh, I am lucky, ain't got nothing. Turns out I do have time for breakfast. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna break out. This shirt is struggling, please. <laughs> like, you know, some things you don't have to force. Like, it's okay to say it's too small. It's okay. Like, you. <laughs> also, these little shorts from Fashion Nova, I got a three pack. Not bad. Not bad. <sighs> like, B F F T F R.
so I don't know if I'm just really full from breakfast still or if I'm just still like full of air and bloated from like last night not eating for that amount of time but I just feel really like stuffed right now and surprisingly I still had a really good workout like I didn't go crazy crazy but like I did that I did that um yeah and didn't feel like nauseous or anything so like and that makes me think I'm really just like severely bloated I did take a probiotic with my breakfast this morning so I haven't taken one in two days like Jimmy, what you doing so I'm hoping that's gonna like move like that through my colons <laughs> but yeah oh no that was a really good workout for real oh um so between the liquid IV and um having a really good breakfast like I think I just need to eat more before my workouts like I just whew, like I, I'm a feel it y'all I know I'm gonna feel it like your girl was working glutes today I did a little bit of like upper body but mainly legs but like in between like my workouts I was like in these in these okay oh girl I want to do core but uh, -uh. it's just a lot of food over here right now but yeah I think I need to start having a heftier breakfast before I work out which means eating earlier like that cute little oh toast and banana like that might not cut it anymore your girl needs oatmeal for roots and eggs <laughs> um but yeah so whew, okay i'm about to shower and chill until two o'clock i guess it's 11 o'clock now so that gives me time um i guess i might as well start getting my suitcase ready huh oh mm. No me gusta, no quiero, no quiero. Mm. Okay, are we feeling deja vu right now? <laughs> um, so update, I'm not feeling that post-workout exhaustion that I usually feel. And while it could be the liquid IV, I feel like it's mainly because for the first time in a long time, I actually ate enough to fuel my workout, but also to fuel my life afterwards. Like, oh my gosh. Usually on the days that I work out, like I am so like tired. Like I have to take a nap or else I'm not gonna make it. Um, or like I can't plan multiple things that day because I'm not gonna get everything done <laughs> but like I feel like I don't say normal tired but I'm not even like tired tired I mean I could sleep I could always sleep really but I feel fine like and I told y'all like I was getting it in hitting the hip to rest and doing the, the goblin squats like I was getting it y'all on a leg day on a glutes day I feel fine and I've had electrolytes and energy before working out. So it has to be the meal. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to start eating more in the morning and working out a little later. Because wow, I also didn't get that severe hunger that I get when I don't eat enough. Like it's crazy because yesterday I just saw an Instagram page where um, someone was saying that your body kind of tells you when your workout is not good for it you know um like some workouts are just, are just too strenuous for people and your body reacts because it's a stressor like some people get like anxiety some people get like the boo boo guts um some people like me feel the extreme exhaustion afterwards i just thought you know i'm just a tired girl and you make low iron low d vitamin d low all the d's low everything right but today tells me otherwise and i'm so glad that i saw that um that post yesterday because it's like things clicked for me today and she was saying you know for some people it means like the workout's just too strenuous but for others it's like it's more so learning how to modify your life to maintain or to support that exercise regime. So like for me, I, I, in my mind I was like, okay, maybe I'm going too hard in the gym. 
that's what I was thinking when I first saw the post. But today I'm like, no, I'm learning that I'm not eating enough for the gym and that's why I'm so depleted afterwards. And it's so simple, but like game changer. Like I can have a really good workout and still get things done. Like for real. I'm sorry, I know it sounds so like insignificant, but y'all like, I don't know how I power through my life. And I know in my vlogs I always seem like this, you know, but as soon as I turn that camera off, I'm like, ugh. Ugh. And it takes me forever to complete a task because, you know, I'm drained. But like, I feel okay, like, you know. I feel like on camera, I come off bubblier also because in a moment, I'm hyped to talk to y'all. So once I shut off the camera and the hype is gone, I'm back to light, you know? I always perk up generally when talking to people, engaging conversation, um, having the time, having the key, you know what I'm saying? But like, game changer, y'all. Period. Also, why was I butt ass, stark ass naked when somebody was going down the window? I don't know what they're doing outside, but I was not prepared. <laughs> now, I don't know if he already saw me, but by the time that I looked, his face was like this the whole time, going down and going down. <sighs> So I don't know if he got a peek of the goods for Fariskis, but that was very awkward. The way I stopped, dropped, and rolled on this carpet, yuck. I cannot believe my body was on the carpet. I dropped, yo. I turned around and said, ah! <laughs> please, like why are you outside my window when I'm naked? I mean, I'm pretty sure they weren't expecting me to be naked at this time of day, but still, like, so like I said, I don't know if he saw me, but I feel like EMP did, he did a courtesy, like, looked aside, you know, do, 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 mind my business, but child, awkward as hell, and he didn't even have to pay, like, and now he over there swinging, you can see the, uh, can you see the, the string through the, can you see the strings, darling? Dang, I feel like you can, oh, shoot, oh, oh they moved to the side, I was like, where'd the string go? I don't know if y'all could tell, but like. Oh, are they at the pool? Did they have to get to the pool? Chad, I don't know what's happening. Y'all might be too far to see. But the string is right there. But yeah, he was literally just right here and they just moved. Like, crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. So crazy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy your day. Hi. Thank you. Hi. I'm good. How are you? I've been happy. <laughs> yes, very good. So what do you do yesterday, for example? You stay in the hotel or? Um, I went out for brunch okay. at um, Blame Kiki. La? Blame Kiki. Blame Kiki. Blame, blame, I don't know. But. For where, it's closed? <laughs> yeah, it's not too far. Um, And then I went to a hookah bar. Okay. Yeah. Bar. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I went to the pool. Okay. To yeah, the pool so far. Um, no, the pool here is closed. Yeah, I started to go to another hotel. Other hotel? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You got a haircut. Huh? You got a haircut. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> How was your weekend? Oh, good, good. Yeah, I was sorry working, to text working, you. Working, yeah. yeah. That's good. Looking good, yeah. Making money. That's so let's go to the canal, okay? Yes. First, and then go to the seafood market. Yes. Yeah.
Right. So where you live? Where you back to the United States? In Georgia. Huh? In Georgia, Atlanta? No, no, but when? when oh, when? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh tomorrow. Where you stay? I leave tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Uh huh. You leave tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. And they in the morning? You know, I don't know. I don't know. But tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. No, I food. don't think I have. No, a lot of the restaurants. It's um, international food. Yeah. What? Vamos a esperar ahora. Mm -hmm. so just waiting now. Um, vamos a ir al mercado del marisco. Good. Okay. You Yo understand? tengo mucho hambre. You understand? Yes. So just wait some few minutes and then go to the yes. sixth one. Yes. <laughs> You understand, you understand, you need si, to yo practice. Quiero pescado. Yo quiero pescado. Si. <laughs> you speak Spanish, yo. I just, I'm telling you, I'm, I just think when I go back to class, it's going to come back. Ah, it's, you need to practice. Huh? The like, next time I come to Panama, I'll be like, Cesar. I want to, <laughs> for example, me, I want to go to the US uh -huh. for like six, one year maybe, uh -huh. to grow my skin. Uh -huh. I think that in one year, I think that I mm -hmm. speak very well. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, because you're already very good. Oh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I think that the practice. Uh huh. For yeah. example, you, you, you need to practice. Every yeah. Day. That, I think I don't have any. Spanish. I don't have any more friends that speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah. It's complicated. You need to go to the Latin American. Country. Yes. Like, I want to come for I, like I, a yeah, month, a certain month. To learn yes. English country uh -huh. I speak every day. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's happening. The lady at the register was very short. And I don't mean. Whatever. Following the crowd. I think that movie starts at 2.45, some kind of screening narrated by, um, what's his name? The black actor that was born old, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I think this is a line. Yeah. I thought it was a quick drive by. I'm trying to go eat. <laughs> Y'all know why I'm here. I cannot. I cannot. 
pero que quiero espero que espero bailamos es que se junto el fuego si quieres esposa bailamos de both oh wow they're like slowly going down you can't even tell oh wow period Oh, in mm -hmm. English is like blessing. Oh, you know, okay, okay. It's the name of the restaurant. Okay. So over there, it's very similar, but you mm -hmm. find yeah, more spot. But okay. Yeah, I trust you. Wow. Very popular. This one over there. The girl tried to speak English, so okay. she did the menu. Okay. Mmm. You want a pescado. You want a pescado, alright? See. Si. This is the, pes the pescado, okay? Mm -hmm. Fish, okay? Fried fish, fried fish, garlic, garlic. Mm -hmm. Do, do the 
Should we share? Mm. I've never tried. Do you like the uh, hot chow? Mm -hmm. Early, I said I took a couple bites and said oh, we can go now, so I could eat my food in the privacy of my hotel room, so I could tear it up. Oh, nobody watching me. 
And no matter where I go, it's a spectacle. Bruh, not me walking all confident like, oh, see, cheeks, yo, I'm no picking your spine, yo. And I'm out here looking like a sweaty beast. Be for real. Okay, so, um, I actually did not do anything that I said I was gonna do. <laughs> Um, I took a few bites of the food and I was kind of over it. And my stomach started hurting. I don't know, my appetite's been off lately. Um, I thought I was lucky coming back, but I don't know. I was just, I think all the food overwhelmed me, which is crazy because food normally doesn't overwhelm me. But anyways, that and also I think, y'all know, I, I've been staying away from red meat and I'm... Wow, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm I'm starting to get tired of fish and seafood in general. Like that's really all I read now. <laughs> seafood, 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 um, and chicken. I'm just like boring. Where's the steak? Where's the lamb and the goat? <laughs> Where? Uh. Anyways, yeah. So I think that part of it is is kind of like food fatigue. Um, even though it was delish. Oh my god sorry guys um yeah and then some last minute work things came up so i was scrambling to finish that but by the time i did the sun was going down and i already missed the sunset there wasn't going to be any sun on the pool which means that it was going to be really cold so i was just like let me just let me just stay in the casa um yeah so i'm just gonna end the evening by getting some more work done um actually before we do that this is probably not gonna end well but i really want to try this kimbo sparkling coffee drink you guys remember i purchased this at the um the market when i first got here but i'm trying to stay away from coffee for the most part um because of my stomach but like sparkling coffee i've never heard of that so let's give her a taste this is just like black serve chilled where's the ingredients I want to see exactly what's in this. Ingrediente. I just made that word up, by the way. Oh, okay. Ingrediente. Agua. Infuso de café. Zucchero. Anidride. Carbonica. Colorante. So basically coloring. Infused coffee. I don't know what zucchero is. Um, carbonation. Carbon dioxide. Oh, zucchero. Is that sugar? Is that Italian? I don't know. And caramel coloring. Green coffee from non-EU agriculture. Okay, y'all. Oh my god. It's actually really good. It's essentially sparkling sweet coffee. Black coffee. Oh my god. It's super sweet though. There has to be a lot of sugar in this, like for real. I'm trying to find the stats on this. This is actually really good. Let me see, 10 grams of carbs and 10 grams of sugar, yeah. 170 calories. No, 40 calories. Oh, that's good. It's almost like for the first 0 0.063 seconds, it tastes like Coke and then it shifts to coffee, but it's delish. Oh my God. Oh, this is actually really good. Mm. Danny Machel, you trying to go to bed tonight? <sighs> this is really good. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I'm not drinking it, I'm just, wow. I mean, I might as well finish it. I already chugged it. It's mostly gone. What is this, like eight ounces? <sighs> Try it out with ice and lemon zest. Oh my, I feel like 
it's coffee soda oh my god this is so good oh wow love that oh my god so good all right y'all let me get to work i'll probably am i gonna watch tv no i'm not gonna watch youtube